Brian Cox panned Brexit in a scathing unearthed tweet in which he claimed leaving the EU had seen the individual give up their rights to the government. Professor Cox returned to screens tonight with episode 3 of Universe on BBC2 at 9 p.m. The broadcaster continued his exploration of the cosmos by detailing the wonders of the Milky Way. Using the Gaia Space Telescope, Professor Cox tracked the dramatic history of the Milky Way and predicted its devastating future. He discovered that, over billions of years, our Milky Way cannibalized neighboring galaxies, triggering new epochs of creation. Professor Cox even revealed we may owe our own existence to one of these galactic collisions. The astrophysicist has become one of the UK's favourite broadcasters since he fronted BBC programme Wonders of the Universe a decade ago. He has been considered by some as the natural successor to legendary BBC broadcasters David Attenborough and Patrick Moore. He has also long been vocal in his opposition to Brexit and was one of many famous faces calling for a so-called people's vote in 2018. In February this year, Professor Cox branded Brexit as a transfer of rights from the individual to the government. The broadcaster made the remark while retweeting a Guardian opinion piece by classical musician Joseph Middleton entitled, Brexit is destroying music. Why has the government let this happen? Professor Cox tweeted out to his 3 million followers, this is a powerful article. I have always seen Brexit as a transfer of rights from the individual to government. We had the right to work, to export our fish, to play our music, to buy and import goods, wherever, across our continent. Now we have to seek permission. His Brexit reflection sparked debate in the comments with some people tweeting out their agreement, and others scrutinizing the astrophysicist's logic. Twitter user RJP Klein refuted Professor Cox claims and said, no, we the people as a collective group, our government signed us up as members of an elite club. The group had a vote as individuals and decided to leave. The biggest expression of one man one vote we've had. It was a transfer of power from the government to the individual. Twitter user Robert E. Dresser added, You do realize that the majority of the European land mass isn't in the EU? You do not know what a continent is? Meanwhile, Tom Hayes tweeted in support of Professor Cox, and said, as COVID recedes and travel again becomes possible, the full horror of Brexit restrictions on the UK service industry will become apparent. As Middleton rightly put it, the days of jumping on the Eurostar or a flight for a last-minute engagement has been taken away. Professor Cox has long been ardently against Brexit, branding the decision as self-indulgence from another age on Twitter in 2020.
He also told the Irish News in 2017 that it was a weakening of our interaction with our neighbouring countries. <laughs>